What's going on guys? I'm here again with my UTSA Offline Dynasty. We are 0-2 in Season 2. Of course, we are a rebuilding franchise here, and we're taking on the Louisiana Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns. This is one of the games I added to my schedule because I promised some of our recruits coming in from last year that we would play a game in their home state. And I didn't realize that Tulane was in New Orleans, so we have two games against uh, teams in Louisiana, so no big deal. But we're going through some recruiting right here, of course. Uh, we have actually more seniors this year than I thought we initially did. I know we're going to lose Evans Okacha, Eric Souza, and some players at different positions, so it's actually looking a little bit more important that we have a better draft class. We have some red shirt freshmen, of course, or guys that are red shirted right now, and some true freshman players that should hopefully be able to step in in Season 3 when we get to that point. But we're going to go into this week three matchup now. Or actually, I think it's week four because we had a week one bye. But anyways, guys, if you enjoy the video, please do leave a like. But here we go into the action. And we're going to start this game with UTSA on offense. Third down and long. Need 13 yards for the first down. And Souza gets sacked. Blanket coverage on the outside. And so quickly now it's Louisiana Lafayette football. And their quarterback is Terrence Broadway. And he is going to throw this one to a, for a first down to his wide receiver. Then third down and four. Broadway wants to roll out to his right and he finds his receiver Jamal Robinson short of the first down marker so it's three nothing now raging Cajuns we have Souza rolling out he's gonna find Jeremiah Moe the tight end good block on the outside springing him for about 10 extra yards into Cajun territory now we go to the running game and Okach trying to bump this bounce this one outside and he's gonna go up and get about four or five yards on this run I call it six actually and then Souza play action to Evans Okacha, rolling out, finds Brandon Armstrong, and he fumbles the football on the play. It's picked up by the Cajuns, a linebacker snatches it up. We're going to take a look at the replay here and see how close this one was. You see he makes a catch, makes a football move definitely, and it looked like he hit his knee down before the ball came out. So we do challenge it, and we do get the ball back. So third and two, Evans Okacha stutter steps in the hole, then he finds an open lane and finds a first down about three yards in the carry. First down and ten, Souza letting the play develop good protection and Cam Jones downfield to the 15 yard line but now faced with third down and nine Souza needs a big play here to pretty much go into the end zone and he throws it to the back of the end zone to Cam and it's going to be out of bounds incomplete so three to three now and it's Raging Cajun football and they're going to be sacked on first down bringing up second down and 22 Broadway option right pitches back Alonzo Harris the cornerback is buried by a wide receiver and that is going to spring Alonzo Harris for a long touchdown run touchdown down Cajuns and Eric Brown was manhandled on that play and that is why this play went the distance so 10 to 3 Louisiana Lafayette we come back and throw it outside to Evans Okacha getting a first down and much more and he's going to get in the Cajun territory to about the 48 yard line great play second down and five for Eric Souza under center outside quickly to Cam Jones is the first down catch and we are back on the edge of field goal range now but we don't have the strongest kicker in the nation and then on first and 10 Souza wants to scramble for a first down. You guys always want me to scramble more with Souza. And he does have speed in like the low 80s, so I probably should be doing some more designed runs every now and then. But then Okacha gets trapped in the backfield by a linebacker, bringing up third down and 13. And we do a play action, and they bring the blitz on it, and they sack Souza. Their fourth sack on the day already, but it is 10 to 6. We go kick a field goal, and Broadway off the play action finds his man. That's Devin Figaro. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce his last name, but we have a second down and three now, and they hand the ball off to Alonzo Harris, and he's going to get a big first down carry to the 10 yard line, finally taken down by Tristan Way. But they are now at the 10 yard line, first and 10 for Broadway. Clean pocket all day to throw, leads his man in the end zone, touchdown to Figaro, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Cajuns as they're up 17-6 to now with a couple minutes to go in the second quarter, and Sozier spins out of a tackle, he's going to go up and get about 5 yards, a positive gain at least. Third down and for a minute, 20 to go in the first half. As Souza's back to throw, cornerback blitz. He fires it to Okacha on the outside, and he drops what could have been a first down grab. But we're going to go for it on fourth down and four here. We got to get some points going into halftime. It's only 17 to 6, but we got to go for this one. Fourth down and four. Souza fires over the middle to Kenny Harrison, close to a first down. They're going to come out, and they would end up giving us the first. And so the risk does pay off. The drive continues with 43 seconds to go on a running clock. We, all, we do have all three timeouts, so I should have called one. And Okaja bouncing this one outside big time to the 15. We're going to get at least a field goal, hopefully, on this drive. Second down and four. Souza back to throw. Fires to the end zone. It's caught by Jeremiah Moeller. And that's a touchdown for UTSA, cutting this lead to four points at the half. Successful drive for the runners. 
trying to keep her momentum in the second half, but Ian Thompson, the tight end, makes a big first down grab to almost midfield. Now we want to bring a blitz at Broadway. Doesn't get to him initially, but here it comes. He's hit as he throws, going deep, and it's picked off by the true freshman, Mike Butler, one of our late recruits we had in the offseason. I promised him some early playing time, and he's showing why he has deserved it. And then second down and two for us, and I throw a pass outside too late, and it's intercepted by a defensive end coming out into coverage. And so it's back-to-back uh, -back turnovers. Not very good by me. I should have thrown that pass a lot earlier if I was going to make that at all. And now they're inside the five-yard line after a nice pass, and they're going to go second and goal handoff outside, and Alonzo goes nowhere, tackled by Steven Kerfiz. That's going to bring up third down and goal. Very key play here. Broadway over the middle, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Kerfus now this time, and then we're going to get the third turnover of the second half already in the red zone nonetheless. But can we get out of the shadow of our own end zone? Third and seven, jump ball for Cam Jones, and it's knocked away out of his hands. And so we end up giving the, the Raging Cajuns very good field position, and they go over the middle on third and eight, and they can't get anything going. And so defense is stepping up in the second half so far, but now we have the football and an outside swing pass to Evans Okacha. Good blocking on the outside to the 25, and shoved out of bounds. Actually hit hard out of bounds at about the 27, but faced with third down and 14. A difficult conversion here as we almost find our man Kenny Harrison, it looks like and couldn't get too much separation, so maybe should have overthrown that one a little bit and had him run to a spot. But once again, it's Raging Cajun football, and Broadway has all the protection in the world off his two-man rush, and he's going to go over the middle, and Surgent can't come up with it, so third down and eight coming up. Broadway to throw, he's sitting in the pocket now, moving to his right, fires over the middle, and it's intercepted again by Mike Butler, the freshman with two second-half interceptions, now looking for a solid return to the 30, makes a cut of the 25, and tackled out of bounds at the 21. Mike Butler, the true freshman, making two huge plays, and now we have the opportunity to put some points on the board. Second and 10, Souza, end zone, Moeller, touchdown number two. And the Roadrunners have their first lead of the ball game. But now can they hold on to it? Third and inches option play. They call it perfectly and Broadway runs for the first down. As we are almost into the fourth quarter, by the way. Second and two for Broadway is going to find Savoy. He's going to make a spin move, but Johnson stays with him and tackles him with the 31 or 36 yard line rather. And that's going to bring up second down and nine a couple of plays later. Broadway on the read option now looking to take off. He's going to go right down Broadway up the middle. That's going to be good for a first down. But with third and ten coming up, we can hold them to a field goal here potentially outside pass to Thompson and it's going to be called just about a couple feet short of the first down marker so they play it safe to bring out the field goal unit and it is 20 to 20 with 542 remaining Evans Okacha back in the game taking a handoff off the left side he's going to get a big 15 16 17 yard gain here and that's going to be a first down first and 10 then for Souza he's going to go outside to Brandon Armstrong outrunning the larger defender who is about twice his size he's going to get to the 40 yard line of the Raging Cajuns before he's tackled for a first down Second down and six now. Souza back to throw. And he's going to go roll to his right now, avoiding pressure. Wants to find Brandon Armstrong and really overthrows him by a lot. So third and six coming up now as we want to convert for the first down. And Souza looking to the outside. We have a man open there, but Souza doesn't see him going up the middle now. He's got a first down and more. Outrunning most of the defenders, and he's tackled at the seven yard line now, setting up first down and goal for the runners. Souza, sweet play. He's got Okacha going to the outside, makes a cut inside of the two or the three yard line. Positive gain now second down and goal Souza option play left side pitches back Okacha going end zone touchdown road runners we once again take back our lead it is now 27 to 20 we have an opportunity guys to win our first game of the season but we have to stop this Louisiana Lafayette offense and they have Alonzo Harris going right up the middle for a first down and they're going to give it to him once again he's going to make a cut try to go up the middle once again more running room we're trying to run him down Darian Starling giving chase and he's tackled at the 33 yard line by Starling. Second down and 12. Now empty backfield for Terrence Broadway. He's going to launch it to the end zone. Touchdown Adam Savoy beat the one-on-one -on -one coverage. Tie ball game again. 27 all with three minutes to go in the game. Eric Souza trying to lead us back down the field now. Hit as he throws in a great play by Kenny Harrison to stay in bounds. He gets the first down. Very big play there. Next, a sweet play for Evans Okacha running into his blockers. Now shakes a defender up towards the first down marker and tackled just short. A couple plays later, it's third down and two in. Souza wants his tight end. David Morgan, it looks like, and it was knocked away. And so we pump the football, though, with a minute and a half to go. And they're going to take a shot deep again. And Figaro beats us this time. Eric Brown gets torched. And he's going to get all the way to the 20 yard line. They're already in field goal range with only 90 seconds to play. But we do have all three timeouts. We can stop the clock. 
and Broadway under pressure. He's going to go down. Great coverage. And my theory here was just bring the pressure, keep sacking him, try to knock him out of field goal range. But they find Griffin out of the backfield. He's going to stay in bounds and be tackled after about a 14-yard gain. And so 13-3 to handoff to Griffin again. And he's going to be stuffed right up the middle for a one-yard gain. And that's going to cause them to attempt a field goal now for the lead. And it is up and good. Louisiana Lafayette 30, UTSA 27. We only have 50 seconds to go, Eric Sosa. We got to get a field goal, make this go to overtime, or score a touchdown. Sosa takes off to run, doesn't quite get the first down, but that's going to bring up second down and one. Screen pass, Freeman, great blocking, first down and more to the 44-yard line now. Clock keeps ticking. We have both time, we have two timeouts still. And then Sosa on first and 10 outside, wide open. Brandon Freeman makes the first down catch to the 44-yard line of Louisiana Lafayette. We have a chance, guys. 29 seconds to go. We have a single timeout remaining. Eric Sosa back to throw outside again Brandon Freeman close to a first down they call him just shy but now running the no huddle we have one timeout to go trying to get one more playoff before we have to kick a field goal or make a decision here and I hate how when you call a no huddle in this game they always have someone miscommunicate right there and the guy doesn't know what he's saying and so we have four seconds to go three seconds we have to burn a timeout here to see what we want to do and it's a 51 yard field goal from this range and Sean Ayano does not have the leg to do it I don't have the confidence in him right now and so we have to throw to the end zone there very unfair Unfortunately, I had to come down to this, but here we go. It's our opportunity. So is a deep middle cut molar bodies tackled at the five yard line I threw it a little too early there I wanted to lob it to the end zone, but he just he threw it right over his head He snatched it and it was tackled five yards short of the end zone And so we end up losing this game going to 0-3 on the year. It was very disappointing I mean, I know about the no huddle issues in this game But I wasn't sure if it'd be an issue if it was like with 30 seconds to go in the game and it definitely wasted at least five to ten seconds there it's a play is worth of time and so I was really upset about that and we end up losing the game I think we could have got the victory here and we should have but we're 0-3 instead and take on a ranked opponent next week UCF number 21 and we're gonna have to bring our A game next week if we're gonna get a victory and if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to support the UTSA Dynasty Series, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Upload videos pretty much every day and all sorts of different series I have going on. And here's a couple more videos for you guys to check out. On the left side, I have an all-pro football 2K8 season series game there with the Grand Rapids Goats, and it was a great game. Definitely go check that video out. On the right side, I have the Oakland Raiders Connected Careers Mode Week 3 episode against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Another good video. You guys should go check those ones out and follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you have not already. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, and I'll see you guys next time.